So let's get the big news out of the way right away. There's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I'm sure you've heard by now, and if you haven't, well, congratulations. I am the first person to tell you about a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. It's happening at 7 a.m. Pacific or 9 a.m. Central. We're obviously going to be doing a pre-show and a live stream for this event. It's going to feature roughly 40 minutes of information focused mainly on Nintendo Switch titles launching this year, including new details on Pikmin 4. Yes, folks, this is a full-on general nintendo direct not a mini not a partner showcase nintendo ain't messing around they did it they dropped the direct today or well tomorrow i guess they dropped the news the direct is happening today so what i wanted to do in this video is go over all of the leaks and rumors in regards to well this direct because believe it or not we have both varieties actual leaks from companies messing around and then obviously we have rumored information as well some we have covered but we haven't covered everything officially outside of a live stream last night and even during our live stream last night there's been developments since then so first let's get into the leaks now the biggest leak that happened was ubisoft they accidentally sent live information on mario plus rabbits dlc this information included a mecha bomb, king bomb bomb, rabid thing. Look, it looks really cool. It looks sick. I showed it on screen a little bit. Uh, they took down this news post quickly after they sent it live on Switch. It might be back up at this point. I didn't double check this morning, but I did see it myself, and I did see that it got removed. This was a nice oopsie from Ubisoft. They've had several oopsies over the years that lead to leaked information, so it does look like Sparks of Hope DLC information is highly likely in this direct. Another oopsie came from Atlas. So Atlas uploaded an unlisted trailer for Persona 3 Reload, and in the first line of the description of the trailer, or the second line, they mentioned that Nintendo Switch is a supported platform. This is the second time there's been a reference to Nintendo Switch with Persona 3 Reload from Atlas, and of course, once that got noticed and posted, people quickly went ahead and updated that, people at Atlas, and removed the Nintendo Switch mention. So if Persona 3 Reload isn't coming to switch then atlas is doing a horrendous job internally in terms of you know not spreading misinformation and if it is coming to nintendo switch and it was meant to be announced in this direct they've done a horrendous job of hiding that fact so it does look like persona 3 reload should be an expected announcement in this direct as well why I don't know. It just is what it is. Now, there are more things going on out there because another leak happened because the support page for Crash Team Rumble features the Nintendo Switch. It's crazy, right? So they talk about how, you know, you need to make sure your console is up to date in order to properly play Crash Team Rumble. And on there is the Nintendo Switch. Why are they including the Nintendo Switch in a game that was never announced for Nintendo Switch? Well, because this could be something that's being thrown in the Nintendo Direct. Again, the leaks are just pouring out there. Now, we get into... The more fun things. Actually, wait, hold on. We have one more leak. This is actually for Pikmin 4, and this comes from Nintendo themselves. Uh, they put download cards, right, to, to buy the game in Japan. And the download cards contain information previously unknown about the game. So you can purchase these download cards right now. And the charming download card reveals that the game will feature two-player split-screen mode. Again, previously not announced. And that the game was built using the Epic Games popular Unreal Engine. This will be the second game Nintendo has used Unreal Engine to build a game. Now, we don't know if it's Unreal Engine 4 or 5, but still, it looks like Pikmin 4 was made with Unreal Engine. Pretty insane. So those are like leaks that we have. We obviously know we're getting more information on Pikmin 4 because Nintendo told us. So what else could be in this Direct? This is where we get into maybe the more fun stuff, and that is the rumors. So first, uh, some people think there might be a Mario Sluggers because Nintendo had an ad uh, pop up during a Mariners game. And if you remember, Nintendo used to be a majority owner of Seattle Mariners. They're no longer. They're a very, very minor stakeholder. And here's the thing. You can see Mario holding the bat. It doesn't really mean anything. They've actually been advertising this exact same ad at several Mariners games many times over the years. So it doesn't really mean anything. It's more of a Switch ad, and they're just related to baseball because it's at a baseball game. But 
Who knows? If you want to read too much into it, then read too much into it. Now, what we do have is that pyro underscore ND guy. We talked about him yesterday and how he heavily hinted towards uh, a 2D Mario. He basically said a 2D Mario game is happening and it won't be of the new variety, aka I won't have new in the title. And that he also hinted at, with a uh, Yoshi that, hey, uh, there's going to be a SNES remake and people are thinking Super Mario RPG because the Yoshi he shared is directly from Super Mario RPG. Uh, also, you know, some people like me kind of speculate maybe a Yoshi's Island. Uh, but it turns out Papa Genos has heard that there is going to be a Super Mario RPG announced in this direct. So that seems to be where people are leaning, Papa Genos being a fellow YouTuber. Now, throwing on top of that, Pyro this morning went out there and was like, good morning. And what did he post? A Detective Pikachu gif. If you remember, Detective Pikachu was announced back in 2019, and we haven't seen anything since. So a brand new one was announced, right? So maybe, and it would be weird because we don't really get Pokemon stuff like that in directs anymore, and more so just appears in Pokemon Presents, but it appears they might be potentially teasing that. Or they just thought it was a fun gif to post because it's the day the Nintendo Direct was announced. Now... This is where we get into some interesting stuff. So the A9VG leakers seems to have teased that Shin Megami Tensei 5 Complete Edition is coming, and that could be announced. Now, they do think it'll be multi-platform, but uh, that could be announced here in this Direct. After all, Shin Megami Tensei 5 was a Switch-timed exclusive, so that's pretty interesting as well. Now, this is where we get into the hopeful territory. This is what... Uh, th this is the wishful thinking, and I I'm tired of seeing people running around telling me this is happening, this is happening. Guys, the source on this is Zippo, who's got so many potential leaks out there at the moment that haven't been announced that uh, you could almost just think he's making it up at this point. But leaker Zippo has claimed that Chrono Trigger Remake is in the works. A lot of people really want this. It's a heavily requested remake. So it's getting a lot of popularity just from fan desire. He does note, however, that he doesn't know when it's going to be announced. He always gives himself an out. Oh, it could be in this direct. Also, I don't know when it's going to be announced, so it might not be in there. So keep expectations at a minimum. It's it, it, it's just the way he talks about this stuff is always infuriating to me because he never really commits. He doesn't commit to, we're going to see this at this direct. See, at least... When Jeff Grubb takes his swing and miss with Metroid Prime or his swing and miss with the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD, at least the guy tried, right? He 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 put it out there, he swung and missed, he owned it, and he paid the price, which included his hair uh, when it came to Metroid Prime uh, remaster. But that's the thing is at least he was committed enough to put it out there. Zippo doesn't do that. He just says... This game is in the works. Oh, you'd like to know that this game is in the works. And that game is in the works. And this game is in the works. And I am the only person in the whole universe that is aware of this. And I still don't know when it's going to be announced. It's it's just not it's just not cool. <laughs> like, getting people's hopes up uh, like that when you're the only person. See, at least there have been multiple people that have said a 2D Mario is coming, including Zippo. But, like, in this case, he's the only person saying Chrono Trigger Remix happening, which that's usually a red flag. Anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys know that we might have another video later today. We'll see. If not, hey, we will be live streaming the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. We'll obviously go live early with a pre-show, uh, talking, probably going over all the rumors yet again and any new rumors that might have been added since this video went up. And just in general, hyping up the Direct because this is our big summer Direct. There won't be another one probably till September. Uh, some people like Player Essence have speculated this might even be the final full Nintendo Direct just dedicated to Nintendo Switch. Now, you could believe that if you think new hardware might get announced this year. So uh, let's see what happens, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.